Hi everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how I did a Northern Lights Tumbler using color shifting alcohol inks. Before I started the tutorial I spray painted my cut black and then I did a thin layer of epoxy using the fast set epoxy on my cup and I added black metallic paint to it. It was a very thin layer. It was 10 mLs of epoxy and the purpose of this layer is to protect my spray paint so that when I lay my stencil down and then pull it back up it doesn't pull my spray paint up with it. So these color shifting alcohol inks were a request from one of my subscribers and before it was requested I had never even heard of them before. I'd heard of the rainbow alcohol ink but I hadn't heard of any of the other colors and so I had never used them before. So I went and got them and where the website that I bought them, these are the colors that they had so I went ahead and bought them all. I don't know if there's more colors out there or not, but I'm glad that this subscriber requested because these color shifting alcohol inks are gorgeous and I had a lot of fun playing with them. So I cut my stencil in half just to help it lay more evenly around the cup and I'm fixing that little piece that was off because if I don't fix it when I put my alcohol inks on and then pull the stencil off you will be able to see that little imperfection. So I did um, spray paint a layer of clear matte spray over the epoxy and that's just to give the alcohol inks something to grab onto. So these are the Marabou color shifting inks. They are super super pretty. Very shimmery, very sparkly. After I got them, I did put them on, I added some into my epoxy over a white cup and it gave it a really pretty sparkle. They can be used on, on any color of cup because they are color shifting, but they show up best on darker cups like black. And I had a super hard time trying to decide what design I wanted to use them for because I wanted all of you to be able to see them through the camera. So that's why I went ahead and decided on the Northern Lights Cup. So I'm not going to be applying any alcohol ink bef below that white strip of vinyl. I'm going to keep them all above that strip. Make sure you shake them up really well because all that pigment settles to the bottom. So you want to make sure that you shake them up really well. And I'm using a dabber sponge. This is actually the second attempt at this cup that I've done. And that dabber worked the best for me the first time I took um, a magic eraser and I cut it up into little squares and I swiped the inks from my stencil to the top of the cup and to me the colors looked dull they didn't show as well as they do by dabbing them on like this So if you've never done a Northern Lights Tumblr, what I'm doing right now is I'm highlighting my silhouette with uh, one of my brighter colors. Actually, any of these color shifting inks would have worked well for the highlight, but you just want to make sure that you highlight your silhouettes 
if you use a darker color against your silhouette, it's all going to blend together and you're not going to be able to see your your trees or any of that. It's just all going to blend together. So you want kind of like like a backlight to highlight your silhouettes. So I usually like to use a bright green to highlight my trees. Once I have my silhouette highlighted, now I'm just taking the other colors and I'm dabbing it on in strips around the cup. And then once I get all the colors on, then I will blend them together. And I'm just using the same sponge for all the, all the different colors. The one thing I noticed about these inks is they don't react to alcohol like regular inks do. If you spray alcohol ink on or alcohol and regular alcohol inks, they're going to run, they're going to get cells, but it doesn't do that with these. I mean, once they're on there, they're they're not moving much. So I did have a hard time figuring out how to get them to blend a little bit better. But they're super pretty. And I can't wait to, to use them again. I don't think that I really showed the full potential of these inks on this cup. I'm happy with how this cup came out. But I have a couple more ideas and I will do tutorials for those as well and trying to photograph these was not an easy thing to do I did my best with the close-up pictures after the tutorial but the pictures in the video just don't do these inks any justice at all you just you can't pick up all those different shifts So once I got my colors on there, then I just played around with with all the colors, just trying to blend it a little bit better, adding more color here, more color there, just trying to get it to blend. And then I took some of the rainbow and I put a little bit on the sponge and then just lightly dabbed it all the way around the cup just all of these colors are gorgeous I can't I can't get over how pretty they are so I I tried spraying the alcohol directly onto the cup and it wasn't doing much I mean the inks weren't moving I was having a hard time getting them to blend so I tried spraying it directly onto the sponge and then adding a little bit of ink onto that. And that helped me to be able to blend it a little bit better. The only one I wasn't happy with was that gold. I just didn't like how strongly it stood out on the cup. So I blended it with some of the rainbow on the sponge and then dabbed it on to the cup to try and dull down some of that gold. So now I'm just playing around with the colors, just getting it to where, where I want it.
It's just so hard to pick up all those different shifts. I was trying. So once you get them on there, they dry real quick, just like regular alcohol inks do. Then you can go ahead and start to pull your stencil. And I probably could have made my stencil just a little bit bigger, but in the end I was happy with how the cup came out. So, I mean, you can make your stencil as big as you want. So I did not seal the cup. I mean, when, like I said, once the al these alcohol inks are on there, they're they're not going anywhere. So I didn't seal it. I think I did let it sit overnight, but it's just because it was late at night when I got done with it. But I wasn't worried about them running or changing color or any of that. I mean, they're pretty solid inks if that makes sense so this right here is a layer of i believe 15 mls of epoxy with some ghosted added into it just to give it a little bit more sparkle it's the fast set epoxy and then i sprinkled lucy in the sky fine just to give it that starry effect I got this decal on Etsy and I'm just showing this part because I use the the new offset feature in Design Space. So I just wanted to record that part in case anybody hadn't gotten around to using it yet. So just, I was just playing around with it. It's only the second time that I used it, but I do offsets quite often. So I'm really happy that they finally added this feature to Design Space. But just play around with it, get a feel for it. You can make your corners rounded, you can make them square. You can make the offset as thick or as thin as you want. So just play around with it. And... and once again, I apologize for the snoring dog in the background. A lot of you are used to him, but if there's any first time people here who are just watching that's Apache my my son's pit bull who's adopted me as his human and that's what he does he snores So again, just play around with it. There, I mean, it still has some bugs. It's it's an, a brand new feature. It's still the beta version. So there, it's not perfect. But I really like the fact that it was added. And it's as easy as that. You hit apply and boom, you have your offset. You can separate them and then click make it it separates them onto the different color mats according to whatever colors you're using and then just choose the type of material that you're cutting and then cut it and you're good to go so now I'm going to layer them so for my t with the top layer I'm just going to cut off 
a strip off the edge and I'm going to use that little exposed piece there to line it up with the bottom layer and once I have it lined up then I can pull the backing paper off the rest and just flip it over and it's all done so much easier to do it that way So once I got this on there, I did let it sit for a few hours just to make sure that it was fully adhered to the cup before I epoxied. That way none of it pulls up and gets epoxy underneath. This is 20 ml of fast set epoxy. And I did have to do just a little bit of light sanding around the decal. And then I added another thin layer of regular epoxy over that for the final layer. And that was it. The cup is done. So here are the close-ups. Again, I apologize. I tried my best to get good pictures of them. But these inks are not very photogenic. With my photographing skills. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye everyone.